I'm Marianne Mitchell and I'm showing at the Rosenfeld Gallery starting today, November 6th through Thanksgiving weekend. The show consists of eight large acrylic paintings on wood panel and ten oil pastels on printmaking paper. My show is titled Cosmos Reflected and I titled it that because I feel that these paintings are my interpretation of the world around me and how I respond emotionally and intellectually to the weather, the seasons, and my inherent desire to make harmonious paintings through architectural and organic forms coming together. I have always worked abstractly since I can possibly remember making art, which is probably back to four years old. So it's just the way I see the world and the way I think, and the intuitive and logical blend of thinking working together. I use acrylic paint. I have allergy problems with oils. I started to develop a technique with lots of layers of thin and thick acrylic paint and colored glazes. The end result hopefully is a sense of luminous, rich, color and surface layers. I studied in China and Japan. I studied traditional Chinese painting and calligraphy. So while the work is not reminiscent of Asian art, the sense of composition and the way I maneuver my hand in, in the amount of pressure, either hard pressure or soft pressure, harkens back to how I was taught to hold a, a calligraphy brush in, in China. I don't use brushes. I use what is called an auto body spreader or a bondo spreader. It's a plastic tool that's shaped like this with a flat edge and it's malleable plastic so that I can bend it, but it's not flimsy, so, and it's not rigid, so it's somewhere in between. And I can, I, I pull the paint across the surface, the thin color and thick color, and I add medium to the paint, so the, the bumpiness comes from the um, gel, and then the layers of color working together are uh, color mixed in with glazing medium. There are numerous different colors working together to create one color. You find these extremely evocative. I do, I do. I love northern light, northern sensibility, and these are very consistent with that and very exciting to me for that reason. I do feel a very northern, even Nordic quality of light, a sort of feeling of ice and snow, and even where there's the warmth, I feel that it's sort of fire and ice. I think also, I think of Scandinavia and the north because of the the horizontality and the sense of vast space that is, to me, characteristic of the landscape there. I think that Marianne was on that Swedish bikini team. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen? No, I knew nothing about okay, that. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I made that up, but ah, she could have been. Though abstract, 
Mary Ann's work clearly relates to nature. She has experimented with using photography as a reference, but finds it isn't for her. A photograph is one thing and a painting is another. And for me, and I know a lot of people who are able to paint from photographs quite beautifully, but for me, it held me back from this mysterious combination of intuition and logic working together. And what it did was it, it squashed my intuitive understanding of how to make the painting work. What would you like the viewers to derive from looking at your art? What kind of emotional response? What I really would love my paintings to do is to give people a sense of beauty and peace, an understanding of something that's familiar, feels right, a sense of place, to give light and color and harmony. And I would add, ice and fire.